This time we'll make a pie chart. Now you'll notice that the main difference going into a pie chart or a bar graph and how they're different from line graphs and scatter plots is that in the line graphs or scatter plots we often have two sets of numbers that we graph against each other. In pie charts or bar graphs it's more likely that the first column in our spreadsheet is made up of words or other forms of categorizing. For example, we do a survey to compare the favorite sports of Canadian youth. The sports we included in our survey included hockey, soccer, football, swimming, and dancing. And we found that of those surveyed, 1,100 people said that their favorite sport was hockey. 1,750 chose soccer. 300 for football. 960 for swimming. And 1,280 for dancing. With all this data in, it's time to graph. Let's select our used cells, including the titles, then we find the Insert Chart icon and click. It creates the default chart. Let's make it a pie chart. Under Chart Type, we select Pie Chart. Notice that it set up the categories for us. We can edit these categories right on the chart just by double-clicking them and overwriting. We can add a chart title by going to Customize, Chart and Axis Titles, and let's call it Favorite Youth Sports. Feel free to look at all the options for making the graph fancy and exactly to your liking. There are lots of options over here in the Chart Editor. And when you're all done, note that you can, again, select your graph, copy chart, and in Google Docs or Word, we can right-click and paste. This time we'll make a pie chart.